just want to do a bit of a Christmas message. It's obviously not Christmas yet, but I thought that I'll do it ahead of Christmas. Um, because I know a lot of people out there are going to be struggling this year, like every year. And I've been in a similar position, not for a long time, but I've had it where I basically couldn't afford any presents at all. Um, now, the frustrating thing is, in my family, they still buy you presents anyway. Um, <laughs> cause, just to put the guilt on a bit more. Um, no, because they're not really bothered if you get them a present or not. Well, they, they actually find it more entertaining to buy presents than actually receive them. Which sort of gets in the charisma spirit. Um, just to treat that a bit mentally. Um, but the, the point here is... Christmas is nothing to do with presents. It's not about uh, giving. Uh, sorry, <laughs> it's all about giving. It's not about receiving. As you can see, our Christmas tree is not giant size. I'm going to quiet it down because it's having a bit of a fit. Where's the buttons on it? The kids have obviously been playing with it. Let's turn him down a little bit. Sorry, because it's got multiple functions. See, I'm going to settle down now anyway. But the, the point here is, I mean, if you look at our tree, it's not giant size. It, it gets the point across. It's Christmas. Our display, it's, it's very simple. Um, the kids have more fun doing stuff like making their own Christmas cards than they do with anything else. I mean, this was made um, with Zoe. There's three things today. This is probably where I'm going to be throwing away some money. Um on something that is nothing to do with me whatsoever um but there's a child that needs a wheelchair so i'll probably be dipping in my own pocket this year just to do something to help somebody else um but the point is it's not about the gifts or anything like that it's about family it's about being together it this is why i love the philippines in christmas because our Christmas celebration does not really <laughs> involve gifts. Um, our gifts are normally stuff we give to the neighbours. We have like food. We we spend it on food. It's not really big presents. I know you've seen some of the videos where I do give big presents for the kids and whatever. But you got to bear in mind, I've been away for long periods of time. I've been away for months. So that's more to do with uh, an overcompensation <laughs> for being away so long. Um, but at the same time, would my kids be happy with less? The answer is what they care about is parents being home for Christmas, having a happy household, and this is why this Christmas message is here. The happy household, the hard, uh, the hard bit, but it's the bit you should be looking for. So if you do, you know, because like I said, I know people are struggling out there, and from my personal view, um, just enjoy Christmas for what it is. It is nothing to do with glittery lights, big presents or anything like that. It's about family. And why would I say that? Well, because the thing with the religion side, it it was, it was put in perspective today. Just like because a friend of mine in the US was buying presents for her workmates, and she was giving one to one of the her colleagues and somebody she thought was a friend and she rejected it saying she only received gifts from people from her church and my friend was pretty blown away because she's religious herself <laughs> it's just from a different church <laughs> so it was just so insulting that's not but you know religion is important but at the same time when do i go to church and uh, i don't I can't remember the last time I went to church. It's probably Mingla Nilia, um, because I'm quite happy to celebrate in other people's uh, religious experiences. It doesn't make me religious. Um, I wouldn't be hypocritical like that with the present thing. <laughs> Myself, religion is about choice. It's about thoughts um, that is personal to an individual. I'll move away the trees having a fit again. It's it's not about me benefiting um or whatever. 
it's all about what's right for that person. So as such, I'm quite happy to go along to whatever religion it is and just see what they do. You know, I'm quite happy to see them enjoying themselves in whatever religion they follow. But like I said, um, although it's the birth of Christ as such, I am, I think it's become too consumerist to even go that way these days. I mean, the UK, I would say, is predominantly atheist, if anything. Now, even atheists, most people would probably not define themselves as atheists. They just take no interest in religion whatsoever. Um, but they'll still have Christmas. <laughs> So I would say it's uh, it's been it's been taken over by brands. Um, I've sort of gone off tangent again. Back on tangent. Um, so don't get frustrated. Don't get stressed. Christmas is about being with the people you love, doing the things together you may not be able to do at other times of the year because you're busy, etc. Um, enjoy it for what it is. Don't enjoy it for what the companies want to make it don't enjoy it because people want to sell you the latest gadgets this year don't buy into it you're better off with zero debt on your credit card and less stress for the rest of the year my personal view on it um as i tell people <laughs> and they think i'm uh, scrooge is don't buy me any gifts um i'd rather they spent the money on their credit card debt and got got a present that pays all year round um then buy me something that i don't really need i'm quite content with a couple of beers and spending time with the family beyond that well maybe a chicken but <laughs> beyond that i don't really need anything else and i hope everyone has a great christmas and like i said if you're having a hard time we're there you know it's like a quote Feel free to email me. I'm just saying, I understand. You know, when I was at college, financially, I was in a difficult place because I paid for my own college. I didn't get a loan. I never had a college loan. I never got in debt. I worked. But the, the problem I had is what money did it leave me? Absolutely nothing. When I used to go to college, I used to drive halfway, park the car, and walk the other half because I didn't have enough fuel to use the car all week to go to and from college. So I only went halfway. Um, yeah, I know what it's like to have some hard times. So you're not on your own. Don't assume it's always going to be like this. You will find life gets easier. And I'm thinking of you this Christmas, and I'm thinking of everyone else. Everyone have a great time. Thanks for watching.